everybody, it's Rose from Sleepopolis, and today I'm going to talk about monophasic versus biphasic sleep. In this video, we'll discuss the differences between these two types of sleep and the benefits and drawbacks of each. We'll also find out if it's possible to change your sleep pattern from biphasic to monophasic to make your work or school schedule easier. And by the way, if you'd like to learn more about sleep health, head over to sleepopolis.com and check out my articles on a range of topics related to sleep. Before we dive in, I just want to say that this video is meant to be informative, but it shouldn't take the place of advice and supervision from your healthcare provider. If you feel you might be suffering from a sleep disorder or medical condition, please see a trained professional. All right, let's get to it. Let's start by talking about monophasic sleep. Sleep in human beings usually takes place all at once or in two phases. Sleeping in one consolidated block of time is called monophasic sleep. This type of sleep is common in people, but less common in other animal species. Monophasic sleep usually lasts between six and nine hours, but can be shorter or longer depending on genetics and lifestyle choices. Monophasic sleep wasn't the norm for human beings until the Industrial Revolution brought us the extension of work hours. A full workday required people to wake up earlier and not take a break for a nap in the afternoon. The use of electricity may also have changed the way people sleep. Electric light and electronics like TVs, smartphones, and computers emit blue light, which has a similar effect on the brain to sunlight. Blue light can decrease levels of melatonin, the natural hormone that makes us feel sleepy at night. Less melatonin can disrupt the sleep-wake cycle and make it harder to get to sleep and stay asleep. Now let's talk about biphasic sleep and how it's different from monophasic sleep. Biphasic means two phases. 85% of mammals sleep in two or more phases rather than a single period. For most of recorded history, people slept in two four-hour phases, one that started just after dusk and another that started later at night. Sleep maintenance insomnia, which is repeated waking during the night, may be related to the biological tendency to sleep in phases. People who prefer to sleep around six hours a night and nap during the day are biphasic sleepers. So are folks who sleep around four hours wake up for a period of time and go back to sleep until morning. So what's your sleep pattern? Is it closer to monophasic or biphasic? If you usually sleep through the night or wake up only briefly for a trip to the bathroom, chances are you're a monophasic sleeper. Does that mean you're a biphasic sleeper if you often wake up during the night and feel alert for an hour or two? Maybe, but before you decide you have a biphasic sleep pattern, take a look at your lifestyle and sleep hygiene. First, let's talk about the kinds of things that can wake you up during the night. One of the most common culprits is alcohol. Why? Well, alcohol depresses the central nervous system and can make falling asleep easier, but its effects wear off within several hours, which is usually during the night. This can cause you to wake up and have trouble getting back to sleep. Alcohol can also change your sleep patterns and disrupt the circadian rhythm, suppressing the REM stage of sleep and making sleep as a whole less efficient. The other reason you might be waking up during the night is a sleep disorder like insomnia, sleep apnea, or restless leg syndrome. Before you decide that you're a biphasic sleeper, make sure you don't have symptoms of a sleep disorder like snoring, the urge to move your legs at night, or a chronic inability to sleep, especially if it's associated with anxiety or depression. To find out more about these disorders, check out my sleep health articles on sleepopolis.com. So you've ruled out other causes and believe you're a biphasic sleeper. Biphasic sleep can be just as healthy as monophasic sleep, but may be difficult to work around traditional work and school hours. You may be wondering, is it possible to hack your schedule and change your natural pattern of sleep? Again, the answer is maybe. If you've tried without success to consolidate your sleep into one block of time, there is some evidence that light therapy may help. Remember when we talked about the effects of blue light? Exposure to blue light through specialized lamps has helped some night owls reset their body clocks to make it easier to get up in the morning. A change in schedule can be a complex process, so talk to your healthcare provider before attempting to reset your circadian rhythm. And don't forget sleep hygiene. Sleep tends to become more efficient when you spend less time in bed. If you wanna get more monophasic sleep, Talk to your doctor or a sleep specialist about sleep restriction. This type of sleep therapy limits your time in bed to the number of hours you actually spend sleeping. 
Over time, sleep restriction can help consolidate sleep and reduce waking during the night. We get a lot of questions about monophasic and biphasic sleep here at Sleepopolis. Here are a few of the most common. Which is healthier, monophasic or biphasic sleep? Actually both. The type of sleep that helps you get regular, sufficient sleep is best for you. Why are some people biphasic sleepers? Well, that's a great question. No one knows for sure, but there is plenty of evidence that most people slept in two phases until around 300 years ago. They may have read, worked, or reproduced during their time awake, and then headed back to sleep until dawn. Are naps healthy? The majority of research on naps has concluded that yes, they are. Short power naps of around 20 minutes can be helpful for both monophasic and biphasic sleepers. Biphasic sleepers may need naps up to two hours long, depending on the amount of sleep they get during the night. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about monophasic versus biphasic sleep. And remember, if you'd like to learn more about sleep health, check out my articles on the Sleep A to Z page at sleepopolis.com. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Until next time, see you later, Sleepopolites.